What's up everyone? Here we got a truck here. This is a Cummins X15. Got four active codes, all for the line heaters. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out what this problem is here. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is just go to the wiring diagram, find out what all these four codes have in common. Obviously they're all for the line here, but see if we could see any similarities in the wiring diagram on what might be calling, causing them all to come active. Next, we're going to locate our after treatment PDM or fuse slash relay center, however you want to call it. Um, this one this is the International HX. is actually located on the left side of the firewall on top. Some of them will be located down there. Some of them will be located above the batteries or behind the DEF tank. Um, they're all over. So you'll have to find where it's at. This one, thankfully, is right here. Not a bad spot to get to. Now that wiring diagram, it showed that we have a 15 amp fuse feeding all three heater line relays. So since we have the four codes active, well, I'm going to assume we probably have no power going to that fuse. So let's check it out. Let me pull that cover off and uh, get my multimeter out. So what I went ahead and did is remove the three line heater relays because I tested power at this fuse, which is for supplying the relays with power, and I got good voltage on either side. So, remove all the relays, and we should have power, according to the wiring diagram, on two of each of the four legs. So, as you can see, when I hook up, when I test for power, oops, there goes my light. My voltage is not there and that's uh, testing on all four per relay so we know we should be getting at least two or should be getting only two um, terminals that have 12 volts and we have none so going back to the wiring diagram there's a junction that this fuse feeds that connects to all of these relays so we gotta check out behind this, check all the wiring, and see if we could find that junction and uh, see if there's any problems with that. Well, following the harness back in the search of that junction, what I did find was that junction right there. As you can see, it's all corroded. I'm gonna pull this loom off so we can get a better look at it. So here we have it. So you can see that the wire behind here kind of comes down here this big thick one loops around goes back up that's from the 15 amp fuse feeds this junction which branches off to the three circuits that power those relays so this is why we're not getting any voltage to those relays so i'm going to go ahead and fix this retest for our power and uh it should be good While we're here, we want to just check any other surrounding circuits, make sure there's no rub throughs or anything. This looks like it was just caused by a poor seal for this junction because there's no signs of the loom revving through or anything. It's just broken off right there. So, this heat shrink from factory, because this is a newer truck. Um, wasn't on there properly wasn't covering it up all the way so yeah whereas if it was rubbed through from the loom I would repair any of the other circuits that were affected or have any wear on the wires but that's not the case this is just a bad seal so that's that